Clefs placed at the beginning of the staff tell us the pitch of one of the staff lines, which can then be used as a reference for other notes on the staff. The treble clef, or G clef, curls around the second line of the staff to show the position of G. The bass clef, or F clef, has two dots on either side of the fourth line of the staff to show the position of F. Other commonly used clefs today are the alto and tenor clefs. The alto clef is indented at the middle line of the staff to show the middle C position. And the tenor clef is indented at the fourth line of the staff to show the position of middle C. To name a note in the alto or tenor clef, use middle C as a reference. In the alto clef, middle C is here. And when we count the lines and spaces up to the note, we'll get A. Let's try this one in the tenor clef. Middle C in the tenor clef is here. And this time we'll need to count down to the note. And we get G. To rewrite a note in a different clef, again use middle C as a reference. Let's rewrite the treble G below middle C in the bass, alto, and tenor clefs. In the treble clef, it is four steps below middle C. So now here's the same note in the bass clef, the alto clef, and the tenor clef. Hand-drawn C clefs are often simplified. These are good versions to use to keep your work clean and clear.